So in this video, we're gonna go over fascial expansions for the treatment of headaches. What we're doing is we're combining the latest in fascial research with traditional Chinese medicine, specifically acupuncture points. So Mickey, I wanna get you to lie on your back here. First thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go over some of the fascial planes that are really, really important in treating, uh, we're trying to address headaches. So the first thing we're gonna discuss is it's fascial planes. Now, fascia is often defined as one interconnecting tensional network that adapts its fibers or arrangement and density according to local tensional demands. So in other words, we're gonna go through a few of them, such as the epicranial fascia, which goes from the base of the skull right up under the head. We're gonna talk a little bit about tendons fascia around the eyes and the deep temporal fascia, which surrounds the temporal bone here. Now, when we start to combine acupuncture or thickenings in the fascia, we find that we can achieve some pretty remarkable results. So let's first talk about the epicranial fascia. So the epicranial fascia serves as a connection between the occipitals and the frontalis muscles from all the way back here, all the way to the front. And it seamlessly merges with the temporal fascia, so on the side here. Now, we start to get to the front here, this epicranial fascia actually connects into another fascial zone called tenons fascia. Tenons fascia acts as a protective sheath for around the eyelid and the front of the eyes here. Now, the temporal fascia, or the deep temporal fascia, is a dense layer surrounding the temporalis muscle. It offers as attachments for the superficial fibers, and it connects with the epicranial fascia superior and adheres to the superior temporal line way up in here. Inferiorly, it splits into the superficial and deep lamina, attaching to the zygomatic arch, lateral and medial edges. So intimate related to all the structures which are commonly involved in tension headaches, migraine headaches, wide variety. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna go over some of the specific acupuncture points in different regions here. So let's talk about some specific acupuncture points, but I wanna make a comment even before we get into that, is that in acupuncture, they put a needle into an area and they actually stimulate this, this needle. We call this a, a tug response. They don't just insert it, they're literally pulling it back and forth and we're trying to stimulate the nervous system or in areas where you have thickenings of, fa of neurological receptors. So when performing acupressure, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna stimulate a region to activate the nervous system and release tension in the fascial network of the interconnecting tissue. So this is how we combine uh, working with fascial planes and acupuncture. So we're gonna start out with a specific acupuncture point called uh, Yang Tang. And this is right between the eyebrows, right in the area right here. Position midway between the medial ends of the eyebrows above the bridge on the nose. Okay, so Mickey, is that tender in there? No. Not at all. No, it's good. Okay, so what I want to know here is when I get in there, and if I'm just stimulating like this, that's mm -hmm. one thing. But if I get in there and start kind of moving this area around here, are you feeling that a bit more? Oh, yeah. You can so, feel it like pulling all the way around, yeah. too. So just imagine we, you know, we're got an acupuncture needle in an area and we're trying to get this tug response in there. But instead, we're going to grab the tissue and we're going to roll it. We're going to turn it around a bit here, work it. I think you probably feel it even more than when I roll it, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we do this for about 30 seconds to a minute. So this is the first point we're gonna go on, yin tang. So the next point we're gonna go over is GB20, located at the base of the skull. This is in the depression between the upper attachments of the sternocleidomastoid muscle and the trapezius muscle. So we're getting about right there. You feeling that there, Mickey? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we could just get in here like this and kind of stimulate the point for 30 seconds to a minute, or I could get in there with my thumbs on here. How's that feeling? Out of the way better. Yeah. You can really feel that opening up a bit more, can't you? Mm -hmm. Mind you though, if I kind of get in and use oh. this part and get underneath where the uh, skull is here, mm -hmm. the occipitals, there, now you probably really feel oh, that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was fine, but this one I can actually traction a little bit superior. And again, I'd be on here for oh, about 30 seconds to a minute. So the next point we're going to talk about is triple heater five, and it's located on the forearm, approximately two finger widths, proximal, 
to the wrist crease between the ulna and the radius. So why don't you take your finger there, Mickey, and just take your thumb. So this is gonna be considered, the width of her thumb is called a chun, and you have to take the patient's thumb to actually find the distance. So that's one chun, go up, that's two chun, so it'll be right here. So we can find this point between the radius and the ulna. Is that tender right in there? A little bit, nothing too bad. Not too bad. Okay, if I got my end of my finger, and there's one way I'm stimulating it, do you feel that more or less? More there. More. It's probably because it's a thinner area here. Yeah. Now, you should be asking yourself, what has this possibly got to do with uh, treating problems distance from this point? It's because of the thickenings in the fascia. Where the acupuncture point is, there's about a 90% correlation between thickenings in fascial planes and increased neurological receptors to the tune of 10 times the amount of receptors as compared to muscle. So we can actually treat distant points by using this. Isn't that quite a bit? Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, we'd be on this point for somewhere between uh, 30 seconds to a minute at least. Is that as tense? In there? It's Is getting it, better now. It's actually yeah. starting to release a little bit. Good. So the next point we're going to do is large intestine four. And this is found basically in the fleshy area between the thumb and the index finger at the highest point of the muscle when the thumb and the index finger are brought together. So we're talking about right in this point. Is that tender in there, Mickey? Yeah, pretty tender. Pretty tender. Now, this point is uh, also a very important contraindication. So if you are pregnant or you think you're pregnant, please do not use this point. Do not use this point on your patients because they actually use this in conjunction with other acupuncture points to induce labor. So the next point we're gonna go over is going to be bladder 60. And it's kind of interesting because here we are on the foot and we're treating headaches. And you may wonder again, why are we down on the foot and if we actually have a problem with a headache? It's because of the amount of neurological receptors in this area. And over hundreds and hundreds of years of traditional Chinese medicine, they found that certain acupuncture points traditionally would be very successful at this. Now we know there's fascial thickenings and there's increased levels of neurological receptors in the area. So this can have a huge effect on headaches. Now, this is situated between the Achilles tendon and the lateral malleolus of the foot. So right down here. Okay, Mickey, how are we doing there? Oh, that's tender. That's tender? Yep. Okay. Is it worse when I go like this or the other way? The other way. The other way? Yeah. So I'm kind of able to get up in there a little bit more that way. So again, we've got to kind of work the area out. Are you okay? Yeah. Really tender there. And we're going to be on here for about 30 seconds to a minute. So we start combining, working with the fascia, the connective tissue in the area, trying to get in and work our way around. Feel that a bit there? Ooh. Okay, so it's, it's not just on that point, it's the entire way around yeah. here. And that's why I think it's so important to use different procedures and techniques and kind of work your way around so we get on some of the fascial planes in the area in conjunction with the traditional points of acupuncture points.